Hey everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the 12th and final episode of Bochi the Rock. Now, last episode we had our culture festival, and we pretty much ended off right before Kesoku Band actually got to be on stage and perform their music. So, this episode's pretty hype. Uh, we actually get to see how the overall school reacts, and if um, Bochi gets a whole new reputation, gets just a whole bunch of new friends, gets just cemented in the history of the school as being an awesome rock girl. Uh, yeah, we, we stopped before we got to see any of that, so let's jump on in and see exactly how all that goes. So, three, two, one, play. Got our drums. Well, drumsticks, you know, to start us off. And luckily, yeah, things are actually working this time. <laughs> yeah, you know, she's here too. Wouldn't be the same without her. Cats are also wandering around. Shapeless cloud. Yeah, there they are. I can't get over how good her singing voice is. Yeah, so far Bochi hasn't really been making eye contact with the audience yet. an empty library. I mean, they're all all the areas are empty, but an empty library makes sense. <laughs> uh, it's a great wink we got there. Bochi the Rock. Morning light falls on you. And yeah, I think they liked it. I will never forget it, I assure you. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. I've having a great time, thank you for asking. I like how they're basically hugging throughout the entire performance. As it should be. <laughs> I know the nerve. Season 2. <laughs> no nicknames. <laughs> yeah, father just crying behind the camera. Uh, let's do it. You, you can have them. <laughs> Wish I could turn my volume beyond 100%. Yeah, I recognize those two.
Come on, Bochi, you got this. Get a little bit worried here. Okay, okay. That's <laughs> what I call freestyling it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess that's a solution. If only. Definitely could have been worse for sure with technical difficulties Bochi had. All that Bochi breathing in my ears. I needed that in my life. Please do. Okay, keep it simple. <laughs> All about that Budokan. Uh, yeah, I mean, if you can, Boji, yeah, that, 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 that would be great. <laughs> But that's a lot of people to talk in front of. <laughs> go, go, Hitori. <laughs> okay, don't try too hard to... Uh, the important thing is getting anything out that, you know, is coherent. Or you can jump onto the crowd, you know. I was half joking, are you really gonna do it? Uh, she's doing it! Hopefully she doesn't just hit the ground, uh, like that. Uh. Well, <laughs> the audience did not cooperate. I mean, I, she, she's probably fine, but uh. <laughs> uh. Well, that was probably worse than anything she could have said. <sighs> so much for that last song. <sighs> yeah, I mean, she felt pretty flat. If anything, they'll never forget it. And kitty cats, please stop fighting... <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> she was really good. Can't deny that. Oh, gee. Hard to get you directly. Well, that was nice. Yeah, it looks like the green screen is not messed up. The cats just keep running around. I mean, I think you already do a decent job supporting Bochi. Imagine there was like a Bochi shaped print on the floor that they had to clean up. Still can't believe she did that. Uh. <laughs> the crazy rocker chick. I guess it's one way to, one way to get a reputation, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's on graduation day. <laughs> I mean, as long as it can be fixed, it should be fine. <laughs> that is pretty rocker like you. Yeah. A special one. She related to climb. <laughs> oh wow. Dad is whipping out the money. <laughs> What are you accusing your father of? Okay. They go, yeah, that is how that works. <laughs> okay, so we're whipping out that Boji ad revenue. <laughs> okay, way to go, Dad. <laughs> yeah, we, we all know these that much. Uh, yeah, understandable. <laughs> yeah, look at all that. Jeez, that is more than I thought. Wow. Yeah, you could probably buy a new guitar with that. <laughs> yeah, of course that's where her mind goes. <laughs> trying to avoid, <laughs> trying to avoid work, going super Saiyan, understandable. <laughs> Hey, somebody gave me 300,000 yen, I'd cheer up real quick, too. And wipe out, like, half my debt. <laughs> wow, she really is going Super Saiyan. <laughs> what a change of attitude. That's what I thought you'd say. <laughs> Yeah, back to her happy place, the trash can. <laughs> Grab your boss for her to let you quit. <laughs> what kind of path are we going down right now? <laughs> what about a hug? 
<laughs> of course you want stuff. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Surprise hug. I'll take your word for it. Oh, does it say Ocha no Mizu? Like tea and water. Yeah, Ocha no Mizu, that's a funny name. Dog in the car. That's how I like to do things, too. But she does have a good point. Some things you do want to really feel before you make the choice. <laughs> Deary. Please stop talking to me, sir. I just, I, I just, I just want to buy a guitar. Please leave me alone. That's... you don't know what she is. And she's still going back there, as expected of Bochi. <laughs> Please leave me alone while I'm headbanging, that's all I ask. Permission achieved. Understandable. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, you went hard enough. <laughs> This really is reminding me of the episode where they buy the guitar in Kao. So it's a similar looking shop. <laughs> I love this I'd love to see that. That's a pretty cool looking one. Uh, please stop slowly sliding towards me. I would love some shielding right now. <laughs> Maybe some social distancing. <laughs> what was that face? <laughs> like a puppet. I can't look directly at that face, I'm just gonna, gonna lose it. <laughs> I like how Keith Tabinski came, he came a ventriloquist. <laughs> is that, is that progress? I'm sure it is. What an inanimate object wouldn't be happy to go with Bochi? <laughs> well, yeah, you kind of want to bring that with you, Bochi. <laughs> I mean, I know it would slow you down, but still, probably worth it. Just don't, you know, forget the guitar anywhere. I mean, yeah, you get a new toy, you want to play with it right away. <laughs> no need to be jealous. I 
feel like we're not going to have time for that. The episode's almost over. <coughs> I'm hoping for a season two announcement at the end of the episode. That, that would be nice. There's that that famous picture. <laughs> Indeed. Let's see my first. Credits. Yeah, credits. Uh, there's actually a decent amount of time left, so there should be something after the credits. But yeah, I'm already feeling the sadness of the show being over. I hear your stuff. I mean, it's an empty hallway, but it's, you know, an upgrade from the pure, pure darkness. Tomato was in my credits. And Doctor Movie, the best mad scientist. <sighs> no, don't jump up. I told you not to jump up there and knock stuff over. So you're gonna do it again? Is that is that how we roll? Kesoku band. Basudete Yaranai. Yeah, there's gonna be an after credit scene, it doesn't have a lot of time left, so. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was a very brief, very brief end of credit scene, but a nice little end card here. The gang all just hanging out together, thanking me for watching. Even though, if anything, I should be thanking them for making the show. But, but, uh, but yeah, that was the uh, twelfth and final episode of Bochi the Rock. Definitely a solid final episode. We did spend a real good chunk of time on the overall performance, which I definitely did appreciate. Like we had some technical difficulties, like Bochi kind of. Breaking the guitar, which I guess is what that dangling string near the top was about. I don't really know instruments or stuff like that, but I assume that was uh, related to that. So she did her best to kind of deal with that as she could. And overall, I'd say it was it went as okay as really as it really could have, aside from just you know having somebody throw in a new guitar during the performance. You know, but you just throw it to the side, grab the new one, just start playing. Which you know they probably don't have the resources to have a backup guitar just kind of thrown in there. But later on, she got a new guitar, so. But that obviously wasn't wouldn't wouldn't help the the current performance, but but uh, but yeah, we got to see lots of familiar faces in the audience. We got to 
Uh, Bochi basically was supposed to have her own kind of, you know, MC segment where she says a few words, but, you know, I was sitting here kind of worried about what exactly she would end up saying. You know, maybe she would not be able to say anything and just kind of vomit. You know, that was kind of kind of where my mind was going during that segment. But then, but then she decided just to, to jump off the stage, you know, do that audience writing thing, you know. Uh, it did not work. Because apparently when people see a, a cute bochi jump towards them, they don't think, hey, I want to grab her and hold her up. They think, oh no, I should probably back up and let her hit the floor. Kind of kind of a mean audience if you think about it. But yeah, definitely made a made an impression, I would say, on the audience, on the floor. It's just quite, quite the experience. I do like how Kita was the first person that she sees and she wakes up. Kita always in that uh, supportive role for bochi. So it, it's, it's great to see. Uh, definitely look forward to seeing more of those two in the future because d- hopefully we get a season two like I-, I feel like we would I mean there's probably more source material left the show was definitely plenty popular like when I checked uh, the my anime list page a little bit ago just to confirm that this was indeed 12 episodes it had a 9 out of 10 that's definitely not easy to achieve on my anime list right so that's definitely significant so the show is popular enough, is what I'm saying, to, to get a second season. Also, we had a little surprise just whipping out a bunch of money for Bochi. <laughs> Apparently, Dad's been saving that Bochi ad revenue for uh, for just such an occasion. So, definitely pretty cool. I do like how, you know, little sister just climbs in throughout the, the, the whole scene, right? She doesn't have any kind of important role in the scene, but she made sure to get her screen time, which I always I always respect that. But... Yeah, just that 300,000 yen. Like, I would love for just to be surprised with that kind of money. Bochi just assumes he's <laughs> it's dirty money, though. But it's not dirty money at all. It's just internet-made money. You know, which is much better, right? But yeah, we got to go guitar shopping. And she did find a nice one in the end, which is pretty cool. She almost left it behind. But luckily, she she, she went back for it. It would have been pretty, been pretty bad to, to lose it completely. <laughs> I did enjoy the wrench trip. <laughs> The ventriloquist gag was quite funny. That was that was good. Really, some real creativity with the show, which I always do appreciate. But we got the guitar. We got all excited to have it. And then pretty much uh, was the end of the episode. We just kind of looking towards the future, future performances, future hangout sessions, all that, all that good stuff. But that pretty much, uh, yeah, was the end of the episode. So uh, usually I would say kind of thoughts of the overall show as a whole. But man, what can I really say about this show? Like, Boots Yourself was a 10 out of 10 main character. Obviously, the relatability, just thoroughly entertaining to watch. Very funny, unpredictable, silly character that still does her best in her own way to to improve, right? That self-improvement was a big a big focus in the show and with Bochi as a character. She, she was always just a treat to watch. <clears throat> Some great fan out of her on the internet as well. I definitely stumbled, uh, stumbled upon. And even a great, like, supporting cast, like other members of the band, they were all pretty great. You know, Ryo just being Ryo, Nijika being Nijika, and and <clears throat> Kita being Kita, right? Especially Kita being Kita, our like runaway guitarist and all that. So she especially had a nice bond with Bochi that I really enjoyed. Like out of the other band members, she was one that kind of stood out the most to me for various reasons, including yeah, the relationship with Bochi. So definitely also look forward to seeing more of them in any kind of potential season two. In the family didn't really get to do a whole lot, but. Little sister was pretty great at any every scene that she had. Right, she definitely did a, did a great job. Uh, but yeah, just a hilarious, fun, crazy show. Like especially crazy with some of the animation choices with some of the bochi freakouts. Right, like those we had a lot of great fun. Like the one infamous uh, like screeching sound that bochi made, or more to the point, bochi's voice actress made. Right, definitely learned a little bit about the backstory on that. It was pretty great. So. Yeah, Bochi was the best, the absolute best. Now that the show is over, I definitely am going to finish off the Bochi, the radio thing, because that's all the Bochi I have left, unless I want to go find the manga, which I guess is technically always a, always an option. But I really enjoyed the show. I'm definitely sad to see it end. Like, like really, like I don't even want to stop the recording, because that's officially admitting the show is now over, you know, on an internal level. But I guess I really have no choice, so... Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video I do. So, until then, bye-bye.